at this demonstration. We are calling for therapeutic support for people, not bullshit work and health for and phony evidence. The need is to offer real therapy and support, not just a back to work band aid. New Savoy providers of psychological therapies. Why are you still collaborating with government policies that help generate the mental health crisis reported in the media on a daily basis? What's the problem? What's the problem? Have, Have you, you lost, lost your, your minds? Mind? You continue to support the DWP's work and health welfare reforms that have been driving ESA, PIP and universal credit claimants to suicide, premature death and increasing deaths of despair and anxiety. Uh, the suicide rate is enormous among people on ESA. A, a recent report, uh, the adult psychiatric morbidity report for 2014, found that 43% of people on ESC have actually attempted suicide. Two thirds have had suicidal thoughts and about a third self-harm. That is an absolutely appalling situation. Stop wondering when is the right time to change direction on welfare form and mental health. The time is now. No more back to work CBT. No more I up work coaches. No more pretending that underpaid work in the gig economy is a health outcome. It, it just, just isn't. isn't. Work is not a health outcome. Work is not a health outcome. Work is not a health outcome. I up therapy is an elastoplast for the dysfunctionality and psychological abuse of neoliberal economic and social politics. It diagnoses the individual as the problem without taking a public stance against the violence of austerity, welfare reform, failed housing, health, social care and education policies, subsistent wages, growing poverty and debt, and the generation of deeper inequalities and divisiveness across race, class and gender. No more faked evidence. The evidence-based of primary care psychological therapies is a cover-up for failure. Last year, 82% of IAP's 1.4 million referrals failed to recover. In the least deprived communities, 23% recovered. In the most deprived, 11% 11, deprived, 11 recovered. In Tower Hamlets, only 2% of 1,235 referrals from the Bangladeshi community recovered. In Barnsley, only 1.5% of all referrals recovered. And the official stats are massaged by the target's machine. Face it, IAP's official recovery rate is a sham. Start acknowledging you are part of the problem and not the solution. It's time to adopt the social model of psychological distress and injury. What we have out here right now is a very broad front. We have disability campaigners, we have users groups, we have groups of social workers, psychologists, and psychotherapists and counsellors. It's very unusual in Britain for therapists to get together with people who are actually using psychological services. And those of us that are doing it are doing so because we're outraged. We've had enough of this con trick. It needs, it really needs to ac acknowledge that it's a failure. And we need different ways of thinking about how to cope with the mental health crisis, so-called, that we're in the middle of. It's time to heal yourselves. I act is not fit to practice. And new Savoy providers are not fit to preach.